Hi guys, so about the 2020 Olympics and the fact that karate will be there uh, next year maybe, but not in 2024. It's about time to address the elephant in the room. So exactly where I am many, many years ago, we were building ships. So right now it's only a park and some, some place to hang out. Things change for a reason. And I want you to follow me to know the reason why in 2024 Karate will not be in the Olympic Games. Go! Why in the hell a sport like karate wouldn't be chosen and sports like uh, skateboarding or breakdance would be? I will try to address this question in a cozier environment, okay? Aloha, this is Renato from Ibrid Karate. I've been practicing the martial arts for over 30 years, mainly karate, kaju kembo and kempo. Uh, and I'm here today to go down to the earth with Ibrid Karate in connections, practicality and context, okay? Let's go. So I do think that sports karate had a great impact in karate as a whole in all, in all the martial arts also. So for me, uh, I think it's a positive thing. Uh, sports karate or mainstream karate or watered down karate if you want, didn't start with the Olympic movement or the world uh, championships. Karate becoming Olympic is not really much of a difference from karate becoming a sport. And karate coming from Okinawa to Japan to be teached for a great number of people. It's karate for the masses, for the mainstream. So that's a big change already, right? So I'm not saying that sports karate or Olympic karate is overall a very good thing for karate itself. But uh, if you see, uh, we are all here and we share these things about karate and all the disciplines that are connected with karate. Also because uh, karate was mainstream. If not, if you weren't able to train karate in your own hometown, in your small, small uh, village or whatever, in many places all, all over the world, maybe we wouldn't be together here to share opinions and you wouldn't discover different disciplines as I did. I started with Karate, I started with Judo and then I discovered Kempo, I discovered Kaju Kempo, I discovered uh, different disciplines that uh, made me what I am today. So it's not, a, it's not a bad thing overall. So you see uh, basketball, gymnastics, uh, soccer, football, whatever you want to call it, uh, they are very very different from martial arts uh, and sports karate and karate has a sport uh, so they couldn't care less about the hidden context uh, about the hidden uh, metaphysical thing about the key whatever they care about measurable things like points like uh, how many how many miles did you run and, uh, and stuff like that so it's it's kind of a different world we cannot connect directly with with them with the same uh, ideas having the karate context in the background as a martial art itself so it would have, it would have been very different if uh, uh, Anku Itosu in Okinawa in Gishin Funakoshi in Japan didn't did, didn't make all this great job of, of taking karate to the masses. And uh, it would be also different if you arrive to your mayor and say, "I will open a school uh, in the corner. It's a martial art designed to." <laughs> You have to contextualize the, the, the sport in the martial arts. Uh, so in order to use uh, the martial arts in a way they are recognized by cities, by mayors, by sports institutions. Without further ado, let's see the five reasons why karate won't make it to the Olympic Games in 2024. So reason number one, karate is an additional sport, once called demonstration sport. It's like another sport that the uh, national committee that is organizing the games chooses from and of course Japan should choose karate it's normal it's part of their history it says a lot about the country also so it's logical but it's not sure that a demonstration or an additional sport will continue to the future so it depends a lot of the, the success they they had in that sport in the, in the Olympic Games for example in 1988 Taekwondo was demonstration sport in Korea Seoul so it's normal, they're the old ones, they're the, the guys that started out. They had already a federation with different uh, guys, different organizations working together to make it, um, to make it uh, Olympic. 
they had that idea, they worked along in 88, then and again in 92 they were invited and in 2000 they were selected. So it's a process, it's a hard process and Taekwondo started first. As we say in Portuguese, quem primeiro alça, primeiro calça. The first served will have an advantage, so it's kind of normal thing, right? So Here the second there. reason is that the goal for the 2024 Olympiad is to approach the urban sports. I will put this image here. Uh, you will see that uh, one of the main reasons is to, f f to make a connection with the youth, to make a connection with things that are a little bit flashy. That So each country has to choose their own additional sports. French uh, organization have chosen uh, skateboarding, surf, uh, climbing and break, dance, break dancing of course. So it's a political side, it's, um, so it, it's kind of strange when you think that France is one of the greatest uh, um, federations in, in, in Karate in, in terms of medals, in terms of results and also in terms of people, they have about 250,000 guys practicing in the French Federation of Karate. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a strange thing that they've chosen to go with the urban uh, idea, urban concept, and uh, pass by the possibility of having many many medals for for the country in a, in a, in something that they are organizing. So there's lots of politics going on there also, but it's kind of a strange decision for for the majority of us. So the third reason is it's just another combat sport. Uh, so if you are the general public, if you're not a karateka, if you're not uh, someone uh, related to the martial arts at all, uh, for you it's just another combat sport. For general public, there is there isn't a big difference with taekwondo, for example. So the the one who started it was taekwondo. They organized it. The same thing happens with other sports that are kind of related, like tennis and squash. We have the, the strange uh, hockey in the field uh, sports, uh, but uh, they prefer that, f I don't know, with the, 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 the roller hockey. It's, it's kind of a politics also because, of, of course, it's Portugal, Spain that are the best. So what, it, what interest does it have? There's a kind of politics going on, but there's also the public behind it, you know? If the public sees, uh, if, if the public is watching karate, they will say maybe it's the same thing that Taekwondo and they don't really relate to karate, etc. Maybe in the kata they will see differences, but I don't know, it's kind of hard to, to put that aside and to say, okay, let's go, let's go for another sport. It's another combat sport. We have judo, we have Taekwondo. Uh, it's kind of hard to put that in front of your arguments and be selected for, for that. So you have to see that the priority is the spectacle, is the poof, you know? People want to see spectacle and the Olympic Games organization wants to have people relating to the spectacle. There are, there are certain things that are kind of untouchables you know, that we cannot touch in those disciplines because they're really old, they're really uh, part of those games. We started in the 90s about the Olympic Games, so we cannot really touch on those disciplines, even if they're completely, you know, to watch. I don't, I don't want to say the word. <laughs> so the fourth reason is sponsoring TV and politics. So sponsoring, it's really easy to see, uh, I know, that maybe maybe many of you guys have seen the X, the, the X Games. Current leader. Wow, it's not fair. It's just not fair. It's not fair. This what? We gotta get off of it. Can we start? We should start night match now. Houston was at the Minneapolis airport. Uh, all the sponsor they have behind them and all the 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 brands that are related to the streetwear that are related to the the urban scene so it's easy to have some brands like red bull or others like that that want to sponsor those kinds of events and those kinds of people related to the sport so having the olympic games related with that will be in a financial promoting uh, seen a very positive thing for the whole the, for the whole Olympic Games movement, you know? Maybe not for sport itself, but I don't know, it's also, it's different, you know? It's, it, so it's kind of a strange thing to see skateboarding 
or break dancing as a sport in the Olympic Games. But it's also very well played, you know, it's something different, people do it, everybody can do it everywhere. So I think it's, it's a good connection and I have friends of mine that are doing skateboarding for over 40 years and, and uh, it's a good price for them also. So then there's the TV ratings. So this was also talked by someone very important in the, in the karate movement, I had the pleasure to to assist to his lecture. Well, I don't want to say his name for, for the sake of privacy. Who the hell wants to see flags going on in 2020, you know? Uh, that's what, what Taekwondo is doing, for example. They are making all electronics, they are doing all the, th all the, all the like, all they can do to keep being uh, Olympic and keep giving show and keep things moving. Uh, in karate, it's kind of a traditional way of doing things. So sometimes people will watch and they won't understand anything. People, general people, they will see the, the referee do this and that and yeah, and whatever and flags going left and right and, and nobody will understand this kinds of procedure procedures in an easy way. In order, in order to change that, maybe we would lose some things in karate, but that I will talk in the fifth reason. So reason number five. Reason number five, it's kind of a complex of martial arts that karate still has. It's, it's very good actually to see that uh, for me, uh, even if karate is a sport, there's a sports part in karate, there's also a relation directly into the martial arts. It's not like basketball or tennis, of course, but it's, you see, judo has lost uh, kind of that essence, you know? Uh, taekwondo is losing it also. So I think karate wants to be Olympic, karate wants to be a sport, but it also wants to keep the martial arts uh, going on inside it, even if it's a sport. So that's, uh, for me that's also a reason that uh, it doesn't work and maybe it doesn't have to work. Uh, I don't say that it's all good things, of course. For me, there's a positive side and a negative side has also many other things in the martial arts. Even if karate is Olympic, it's very hard to find a broad audience that will be interested in it. It's hard to find someone who's interested in ki, uh, in the kata, or interested in uh, the way that seno seno, sen seno sen works in kumite, and why it's directly related, and why we talk, we still talk about it in training. Come on, I had a work session with like Alexander Biamonti. He was a champion that I will just put a small video here, you know. Uh, and he was telling things about martial arts and relating them to, to the training in, in Kumite and why we should do that like this and like that and, and there were many things that I could use even if I don't train a lot uh, in competition or for competition or for with my, with my students I can still relate with that, I had my time doing competition I'm, I had some national competition and regional competition uh, back in Portugal, um, but of course it was not really, really my thing, but it was very nice to discover it. There's always this relation between martial arts, karate, martial arts and, and sports karate. So I think all of us would benefit from karate in the Olympics. I think it's normal by the things that were, that are taught and etc, etc. Even even if it's like a guy in, in, your, in your coffee shop uh, in the corner that's seeing the Olympic sports and say, hey man, I, I don't like this, this is, karate is just, you know, it's just touching and all, I, I want something else, you know? And you're there and you talk about with the guy and he says, but, wow, you, you seem to, to know something about this subject. Yes, I also do karate, but I work it in a different way, this, this and this. And that guy will come to your school and, uh, and maybe he will train and maybe he will be a very good student and uh, someday maybe he will teach also. So this is the positive side of it, you know? The awareness over the martial arts, over karate, they are never enough. It's good to, to, to share, it's good to to be positive and try to see the great things about it. So hopefully my guys that I know are going to the Olympic Games next next year in Japan. Hopefully they will give a medal to the respective teams. 
and hopefully sports karate can be seen in a positive way and of course the other 90% of karate that it's not shown there can be discovered by people that simply had some awareness of karate by the fact it it's an only it was an Olympic or it will be <laughs> an Olympic discipline in 2021 uh, Olympic Games and uh, I don't know if if karate had the chance to be again a discipline for the 2024 I would be supporting that I hope you would do that too if you even you're if even if you're a traditionalist uh, things get together it's not it's not a problem you see once again be positive hardworking train a lot and if your neighbor is coming to your class because he's seen some Olympic game uh, karate combat in the in the television in the summer of 2021 that's a good news you know it's never it's never bad even if you don't do it it, it, it will be there because he liked something he saw something some details I don't know so it's it's a very good thing that karate is trying to still be karate in some way and it's trying to be an Olympic sport even if it's a dream that will not come true okay anyway this is the point all positive things keep training keep working big aloha and i will see you in the next video thank you